Hello everybody, James Workshop here for Modeling for Advantage. I'm hard at work, working on my Soviet forces for bolt action. So today I'm going to give you a quick uh, unboxing and a quick look at the Soviet Army Support Group Winter. Let's have a look at what comes in the box. So we get an officer with a pistol, an officer with an SMG, a medic and patient, which is a very interesting model, uh, this one back here, we'll see that a little more clearly later, a radio operator slash spotter, a medium mortar team, an MMG team, and some plastic bases for them all. So why did I buy this is, is step one. Um, I just needed a medium mortar, and I was interested in an MMG. I've got my own uh, characters converted, but the variety of other characters that come in this box can be used for all sorts of other um, characters for the game, all sorts of HQ choices and supports. So I thought I'd pick this box up rather than just going straight for buying the mortar. So what everybody's actually interested in here, what is inside the box and how does it get packaged and how does it turn up? So I've broken the seal. Let's rip it, let's strip it and rip it and get it open. So I have yet to open this. Oh, we've got bases straight out of the bag. That is an interesting piece of cardboard that we have in here. <laughs> so it is uh, a standard blister by the looks of it. Yeah, that's a pretty standard blister. So on top of this little sheet of card, we've got some heads. Presumably they are unique to this pack or they are unique to one of the kits that comes in this pack. We'll soon find out. So inside we have some standard 25mm round bases and we have the collection of metal models in an unsealed blister pack. Let's put these heads and these bases to one side. Let's open her up. Let's flip her and open her up. So we've got your usual sponge. We have a uh, package by uh, Donica. Thank you very much, Donica. Look, the 60mm round bases, a pair of... Um, I don't know what the second 60mm round base is for. I guess basing doesn't matter that much, so you might want to put your, uh, I'm sure the Kaiser will support you putting your mortar on a round base. Here is the sniper style base, which is also for mortars, a pill base. Ooh, another very springy piece of foam. And the models themselves. So, that is a model lying down. Maybe that can go on that base. Let's see. So that's going to be for the MMG. Let me distribute these among the models that they represent, um, and then we can have a better look. So here we have what is in the kit, organized into its separate areas. So these two sets of heads, what it's looking like is that this is a set of heads uh, for officers. So I'll place this over here by the officers. And that this is the set of heads and a magazine for the Maxim. So let's pop this over here. So just a quick look first at the quality of the kits that we have in here. We have some classic um, bent barrels going on. That's for shooting down at the floor. Um, having another quick look around. I mean, the single piece models, they're pretty difficult to get wrong, really. Um, you can have massive molding marks. Uh, I can't see any huge mold lines on these or anything that's problematic. Um, the Maxim, because it's a multi-part metal model, it's liable to go a little bit wrong when you're attempting to construct it. But the, the quality of the mold looks pretty decent. I'm not seeing anything hugely out of place. But I will put these together now, um, and we can have a look at how they go together by doing it. Just quickly already, as you can see, uh, me putting these models together, this is exactly where they were before. I just lifted this little piece of flash to see what I could do, and uh, the barrel's broken. So, um, you know, strike one, <laughs> these kits, already. But uh, I should probably be able to fix that up a little bit. You can see where it's it's just horribly bent downwards there, and it was always going to be difficult to get that going without some incredibly careful work. And I didn't do careful work, because I thought I was just going to be bending this bit of flash and removing it. So here we have the models constructed as I have intended to construct them. A couple of quick notes to put first. Um, the box here shows wooden bases. There are plastic bases included in the box. Um, especially the larger 60mm around wooden base would have been quite nice, but if you don't mind the new plastics, which frankly I don't, um, then that's perfectly fine. Notable, however, is that there are only five plastic bases contained in the box, and the back of the box shows one, two, three, four, 
uh, five, six of them shown here for the three man mortar team being separately based. That That's not actually possible with what's contained in the box. Luckily, I wanted to build it on the 60 millimeter round in the first place, so I am entirely unconcerned. As for other construction in the box, um, it has the standard metal model problems of bits not fitting together very well. I should note, I have been mostly constructing plastics throughout my entire life, um, so I'm a little bit of a spoilt games workshop gamer where it comes to that. Um, but none of them compare to the Ziz 3. This was uh, over, literally at this point, hundreds of kits I've built in my life for a variety of different games, from a variety of different materials. I always defend Forge World Resin, let's put it that way. Um, this was the worst kit I've ever put together in my entire life. I don't know if I did it right, but I'm not doing it again. Heads went on bodies. The fact that the metal mold uh, the fact that in the box it was so horribly bent that I had to fix it, that was a little uncomfortable. Um, but the models will get used. Um, I have otherwise no complaints. The single part metal models are absolutely lovely. I barely had to clean any of it up at all. Uh, the Maxim went together relatively easily. The parts for the actual Maxim gun itself don't go together very well. Um, the body of the gun going down to the... Ooh, what would I even call that? It's not a tripod. The wheeled stand, um, the two of them don't match up very well when you want to actually match it up to the uh, gunner's um, Rambo hands at the same time. Um, but the mortar all went together very well. It has the standard bolt action issues of um, there's not very clear instructions in the box, um, but none of the models were particularly difficult to put together, and having a quick look at the pictures on the website will always help. So that has been the Soviet Army Support Group Winter from Warlord Games. You will be seeing mo the majority of these models on the table at some point. I think the Medic and the Ready Operator will probably get left behind for most of the time that I'm playing, but the officers will eventually make their way onto the table, and these will definitely both be used on separate or the same occasion. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you all next time.